okay. We are still addressing the myths associated with anger. We are on myth three. Um, and the first two myths we had, we had myth one, which was the behavior expression of anger is fixed and cannot be changed. And then we had myth two, <coughs> excuse me, anger automatically leads to aggression. And now we're on myth three, which is uh, people must be aggressive to get what they want. And uh, again, this is another very common myth. This is definitely um, the common way that we think. So if you're living, you know, street life, you know, growing up in the streets, whether drug dealing, gang banging, um, you know, all the different things that we do, we're living that life in the street, right? We live by this code, you know, you're, you're aggressive. Like when, when, um, when uh, you're requesting something from someone, you don't necessarily ask nice. Right. And matter of fact, in, in, in a lot of uh, situations, you're not even asking at all. You're telling them what they're going to do and what they're going to give you and how they're going to uh, react or respond to the situation. So um, and a lot of people think that's the way you got to be. They, they feel that if you're not aggressive with people, then they're going to try to run all over you. And that's not the case. It is better for us to be assertive than to be aggressive. And we tend to get uh, better results, more long lasting results and long lasting friendships and, um, you know, a, a stronger network of people when we're able to deal with situations appropriately and not acting out aggressively. Right. And, uh, you know, you can't you can't one, you can't force anyone into liking you. Right. You can force somebody to, you know, if they're scary or whatever, you can force them and they, they'll pretend that they like you, but they don't. But in that case, you're always there. They're a threat, right? Because you always you never know what this person is going to do. And whenever they got the chance to get the upper hand, the first chance they get to get the upper hand, guess what they're going to do? Um, they're definitely going to stab you in the back because the only reason that they're messing with you in the first place is because there's fear, not respect, not love, not loyalty. Right. So uh, being aggressive to in order to accomplish your goals is not a good way to be, even though. Um, some of us live by that code. I lived by that code for a very long time. And I thought that's, that was the way that you had to be. And anything else was, was weak, right? But that's not true, right? You do not have to be aggressive to get what you want. You can be assertive, right? So you, you standing up for yourself in a way that is respectful to your own, uh, personal rights and beliefs, but also respectful to the other person. And, and you're able to uh, generally work out some type of compromise. And if you're not able to work it out with that individual, then you move on and you find a way, right? It's not like you just give up or that's the end of the road. You continue to try to um, accomplish your goal or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish with or without that person's assistance, right? But um, just coming at that person uh, with aggression, whether by threatening them or using a threatening tone, because sometimes it's not so much that you uh, issue a direct threat. So like, let's say, um, look, you're going to give me that or I'm going to stab you. You know, that's obviously a direct threat, right? You're threatening the person. But sometimes, you know, it'll be more like uh, and you'll see it a lot in, in prison situations or um, if somebody, let's say, if they're a hang around or like gangs or something like that. And uh, so the person may come up to them and, 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 you know, say something to the effect like, uh, Hey, uh, you weren't going to eat that. Were you, uh, would you mind if I have that? So in that case, the person is not issuing a direct threat. They're not saying, Oh, well, either you're going to give me that or harm is going to come to you. But their disposition is telling the person like, look, yeah, you may not want to eat that. You may want to just go ahead and, and let that other person have it. So and again, not everybody is going to be is going to, uh, you know, just bow down and give up whatever they got coming for. In, in a lot of situations, it's going to turn into a fight, especially in a, uh, let's say, a prison type environment or like youth authority and stuff like that. It's generally going to turn into a fight because the person is going to feel like, wait a minute, if I let this person just push up on me and take something from me, everybody's going to think they can do it. So it's a good possibility that the person may immediately punch you in the face or let's say even if they, um, 
you know, they feel like maybe they're outnumbered or, or something or, or, or feel that that you have a, um, a, a extreme advantage over them. They may wait, go back to the cell, sharpen up their tool and come back at you. Right. But they're not going to let it go. Right. And even in the cases where they do let it go, where you you know are able to bully the person out of what they got coming, it's not a good look for you. And a lot of people think, you know, and they want to boast and brag about people that they've been able to push up on and 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 bully, but it's not really a, a good look for you because generally you're not bullying someone of each of equal stature. You're you're trying to bully people that you believe that are, 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 are a, a soft target or a, a easy victim, right? And but when it comes to somebody that you that you feel that can you know hold their ground with you, you know it's like oh you know and you want to. Um, you want to be all nice and respectful and stuff. And, and clearly that's the weak, right? The person that, that got bullied, you know, um, I don't consider them weak because again, everybody didn't grow up under the same standards, right? Some of us grew up in the streets. Other people grew up under more, I guess you could say civilized circumstances. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, and, and they were not about that life. So, um, just because you can you can uh, pick on them and bully them don't make you tough, right? Um, and and you know like the old saying they'll say, well, pick on somebody your own size or pick on somebody your own stature, right? And and, and it's rare that a bully is going to do that because a lot of times the bully is the weakest person, right? And they may even bear to fight. It's not like every bully, you know, like they don't know how to fight at all and they only can fight people that can't fight. No. Some of them can can really, you know, get down. They can fight. But there's something, there's a certain weakness. There's a certain, I'm going to use the term bitch made attitude, uh, 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 disposition that they will have in them that causes them to try to attack and pick on uh, the person that they feel to be weak. So, um, so again, this myth. Um, you have to be aggressive uh, to get what you want is a myth. It's something that is not true, even though a lot of people believe it to be so. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. If you've been able to get anything from the video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Maybe share it with some friends. Let's uh, build this channel up.